Finally, then we are looking at signing our user out. At the moment, this does nothing at all apart from just link us to a hash. So we're going to start over in our store because we want to do this in our store so we can clear out our token, clear out our user. And we already know that by doing that, our subscriber will listen to when we set our token to null. It will get rid of the uh, authorization header and it will get rid of the local storage token. Okay, so just underneath attempt, let's go and create this sign out method. And in here, we want the ability to commit a mutation to be able to get rid of them tokens. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is not make this method asynchronous. Instead, what I'm gonna do is return Axios post, and I'm gonna post through to auth slash sign out on our API. And then once that's finished, so once I know that that has successfully worked, I'm then gonna go ahead and commit set token and set user to null. And I can actually just pull these straight over to here. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to return the promise from Axios. So over in, say, our navigation, when we click on sign out, we can then, once we've successfully know, or once we successfully know that we've unauthenticated the user, we can then redirect the user over to a different page, e.g. the home page. So hopefully that makes sense. We just basically want to know that this has been successful and our token and our user has been cleared before we go ahead and redirect the user over to the home. So over in the navigation now, we can pull in the ability to map our actions. We can create a list of methods here and map in our actions. And we can say sign out, which is auth slash sign out. Now, what I also want to do is create another method in here. And I could just call this sign out action so we don't get a naming conflict. And I can create a sign out method here. I can reference this sign out action. And then once that has been successfully signed out, e.g. we've made the request, we can then go ahead and say router replace and redirect the user over to the home page. So to recap, we've created the ability to send the request to sign the user out, set the token and the user to null. Over in the navigation, if we call this sign out method, that will sign us out uh, by referencing the sign out method over on Vuex. And it will then, once that request is finished, redirect us over to the home page. So all we need to do now is say, well, when we click on this link, we can just reference the sign out method and of course prevent the default behavior as well. So now let's just keep an eye on our console and our network tabs and also our application as well. We can click sign out. Sure enough, we have sent a request to sign out, which was okay. Because of our hook inside of our subscriber, we've got rid of the token. And of course the user has been redirected over to the home page. Give that a refresh. And of course we're still signed out. Perfect. Now, just to kind of demonstrate what I meant about this, if, for example, the sign out doesn't work, uh, so let's just uh, create an error over in our sign out page. Let's just reference a method that doesn't exist. So I'll just say no, for example. Uh, if we go ahead and sign ourselves in and I keep an eye on my application, I've got my token in there, and I click sign out that has failed, so we've not signed the user out. So we don't wanna show that we've signed the user out unless this method actually worked. There are cases where this might not work, so we want to make sure that that works before we redirect the user over and clear everything out and make it look like we've actually unauthenticated the user. So there we go, really, really straightforward to sign the user out, clear everything out, and more importantly, use the subscriber that we set up to get rid of the header and remove the token from local storage. And as we discussed earlier, when we set the API up, that token has now been blacklisted, which means even if 100 people had hold of that token, it now just won't work.